going on YouTube? Getting up out of here. This pilot I've been to a couple times up here in Pennsylvania. On my way to Hatfield, Pennsylvania, about to pick up this load. Going to New York State. Two stops on it. Both of them tomorrow. First stop, 8 a.m. Monday morning. Second stop, uh, 9 p.m. Monday evening. Monday night. So, wrapping this week up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check in with y'all. Hold up, man. Do I need to go south or north? Uh, I think we need to go south. I hope this is the right direction. This thing is not giving me an indication. All right. So yeah, checking in with y'all. Wrapping this week up. Let y'all know what went on with me this week. This week wasn't really, wasn't really much. What happened is um. Construction ahead. In my last video, I was bringing that load from Nebraska to Maryland. So, I delivered that load. Continue and I ran so hard the previous week that I actually had to do a 34 hour reset. So, the first time I actually had to do a 34 hour reset. And since I delivered in Maryland, and I was uh, an hour and a half away from home. I just drove home. So I got home Thursday morning around 6 a.m. and started my 35 hour reset at home. And I got a message from my fleet manager. Like I said, to do no complaints. <laughs> No complaints, man. He got me a load that I picked up in North Carolina. Man, delivered it to Pennsylvania. So I picked it up in North Carolina on um, Saturday morning. So I got home Thursday morning. I was home most of Friday. I was planning on leaving out um, Friday night. So what I ended up doing was just leaving out Friday night. I had to deadhead 300 miles. Yes, that's a lot of miles of deadhead, but when the numbers add up, Everything is gravy, so it was a 300 mile drive down to North Carolina, Tar Hill, North Carolina. Picked up that load from the Smithfield plant and came back home. So I had my fiance and my son that rolled down with me to pick up the load. It was a five hour drive, a little under five hour drive down. Same thing back, so I was able to get that all done in one shift. And uh, we got home Saturday morning, about 9.30 in the morning. And I stayed home. This load, that load that I picked up, delivered up here in Pennsylvania, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, Walmart distribution center I've been to a couple times. And that load was due 4 a.m. on uh, Sunday morning. So I left out the house around midnight, and I got up here around 3.45 in the morning. So, the load from Nebraska to Maryland paid $2,100. That load from North Carolina to Pennsylvania paid um, just under $1,800. So with the 300 mile deadhead and then the 500 mile drive from Carolina to Pennsylvania, it ended up being a total of 800 miles. Obviously 800 goes into 1800 two times so that load with the deadhead paid about at least two dollars and ten cents it was over two dollars a mile including the deadhead so that's why it wasn't a problem for me to do that so now it's month or sunday evening i am going to pick up a load this will be my last load for the week for the pay cycle so to recap real quick 2100 nebraska to maryland 1800 Carolina or Pennsylvania, and now I'm picking up in Pennsylvania, and this load is paying $17.60. Um, I use just round numbers up and down, so $17.60, we're just gonna say $1,800. It's gonna be roughly $1,800 because there's an extra stop, so they'll pay me $20 or $40 for that extra stop. But um, 
picking up tonight. Uh, first delivery is 8 a.m. Monday morning. Second delivery is uh, 9 p.m. Monday evening. So that's pretty much going to end off my um, my week. Because once I get done, well, maybe not speak too uh, too fast. Because now that I think about it, once I deliver, once I make the first delivery on this load, that'll be 8 a.m. My hours will be up. I'm gonna take a break. And then when I deliver that, the second part of this load, it'll be 9 p.m. Monday night. And I'll have uh, essentially a full clock. So they might, I might be able to get a load that I can, you know, a quick one I can get delivered before payroll. But if that happens, cool. As of right now, the revenue for this week, including being home for roughly three days, you know, got home Thursday morning, you know, rolled down to pick up a load and come right back home, but left out uh, basically Sunday morning. And I still, my revenue uh, for the week is still $4,800, just under $5,000 for this week. So this was a really good week, especially considering, this would have been a good week if it weren't for the 34-hour reset at home. But considering that I did a 34-hour reset at home, this was a really good week. To this point, I've spent $950 on fuel, and I have enough fuel I have enough fuel to get me through this last run, so I'm not gonna get any more fuel. So 950 on fuel, plus the $1,400 fixed cost is $2,100. It's always more than I expected to be. It's always more, so we'll just say $2,600 on, on the expenses this week. And then I feel like I'm you know, giving myself a wide margin, it still might end up being more than that. But anyways, going off of that figure, 2,600 minus 4,800 is obviously 2,200. So on a week where I ended up being home for two and a half days due to a 34-hour reset and a load that allowed me to go pick it up and come right back home, I'm still going to take home over 20, uh, oh, right around $2,000 this week. It should be $2,000. I don't think there'll be any less than 18. So it can be anywhere from $18 to $2,200. Like I said, including me being home for that 34-hour reset. So no complaints on my end. Good week. Really good week. And um, yeah, we all been running. We're all been running for the next week. We started the next pay cycle uh, tomorrow. Two more weeks on the road. And then I'll be going home for Mother's Day weekend take about three or four days off, stay home the whole weekend, probably come back out that following Tuesday, try to get home on Friday, and uh, come out that Tuesday, and then um, at that point, I'll be getting ready to uh, take this trainer course, because I believe my dude will be ready to come on to Prime and get the ball rolling on that, but um, Good week. I wanted to read that to y'all. And then, um, something I kind of wanted to elaborate on was, uh, when I spoke about the, uh, you know what? This video's already eight minutes long. I'll make another video speaking about this. I don't want it to be a 20 minute long video. So, yeah, that's that, man. We're gonna cut it short, you know, director's cut on that. I think I did a pretty good job watching my language. My son then stumbled upon my videos on YouTube with the help of his mom and, and uh, his great grandmother. So, you know, he told me through them. They told me through him, you know, to watch a language and whatnot because he watches the videos. So I think I did a pretty good job on this video. I don't recall cursing. I'm gonna do my best not to, but I can't make any promises because, you know, expletive habits but anyways shout out to my son what's up JJ and um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off and I'll make another video speaking about what I started before I caught myself so yeah once again shout out to y'all my subscribers and everything for rocking with me man appreciate the the support and the um you know the following and whatnot Two miles. Yeah, don't be afraid to interact with me, man. If you got any questions, drop a comment. 
know if you got anything you would like me to address, uh, please do drop a comment. You know, people have, and they can tell you I get back to you as soon as I can, which most of the times is almost immediately, unless I'm driving. But um, yeah, shout out to y'all. So, it's your man JMV. I can keep on riding through the night. Love doing my night ride thing, and then um, yeah, I'm gonna drop that other video speaking about um, you know my plans down the line. So uh, until next time, y'all be easy.